Welcome to the tour of Azilio's facilities. We will start at our research and development facility in Åmål, Sweden. Here is the main hub for research and development of our long-duration energy storage system with around-the-clock electricity and heat supply, TESPOD. Let's have a look inside. First, we are in the component and material testing area. The test pod operates under high temperatures, with its recycled aluminum core reaching 600 degrees Celsius to a phase-changing state. So it's important to make sure all our different components, materials and coatings used in the test pod can withstand high temperatures. We also have a tool shop and preparation area, where we bring all the components together before being moved to our test lab area. Our test lab is where all our testing and simulations take place. Here we ensure that all components of the storage system are fully optimized and performing to a high standard. We monitor all tests from the lab in our testing control room, where test data is logged and recorded. With up to six different tests taking place simultaneously, it is important that our data is correctly stored and analyzed to ensure the technology in the test pod is safe and functioning before going into the final units. We'll finish this tour of Azilio's development in Uomol at the TestPod Test Center. Here we generate and analyze data of the TestPod performance and also develop new concepts and ideas to ensure constant development towards more energy solution improvements. We now move to our production facility. This facility is located in Uddevalla, a part of Sweden's manufacturing cluster on the west coast. The city itself is built around a harbor, providing excellent transport access to the rest of the world. This location is used to assemble the Stirling engine, used for electricity conversion and heat supply in Azilio's long-duration energy storage system, TESPOD. The facility has a capacity of producing 23,000 Stirling engines annually on the current production line. This is enough for an annual storage capacity of 3.8 gigawatt hours of electrical output. Here we are in the storage area. This is where all the components for the Stirling engine are kept before they make their way to the assembly line. We have enough room here for up to 600 euro pallets that will hold all the necessary materials coming in from our European-based suppliers. Once all components have passed a quality check, they move from the storage area to the production line. Using state-of-the-art technology, the engines move down the line utilizing an automated manufacturing system called MES that ensures each operator performs the right task at the right time to the right specifications, with all data continuously logged in our data centers. After the Stirling engine has been assembled, the completed engine is tested using robots performing important quality checks. During the checks, the robot scans all parts of the unit to check that there are no leaks from the engine. Once these tests have been completed, the finished Stirling engine will be ready for shipping to a project site, where it is married to the storage unit. We hope you enjoyed this visit today. It's been a pleasure showing you around the home of the Azilio test pod. For more information, visit our website at www.azilio.com.